What's up guys? It's me, your girl Alisa from stylishcurves.com and today your girl is back with a new video. Uh. <laughs> All right, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite designer purchases. So these purchases are, some are high-end designers and some are mid-price designers. So if you're interested in checking out this video, you guys know what to do. And that is to keep on watching. And get started but before we get started I just want to make sure if you watched more than two or three videos you might as well hit the subscribe button and become a stylish curves YouTube member and if you are an Instagram junkie like me make sure you're following stylish curves on Instagram all right now let's jump right in and get started so okay. the first thing I want to show you is my Gucci Soho disco bag I think that's what it's called right so I got this bag years before Gucci decided to mess up and do that blackface sweater. Even though I feel like a lot of people were kind of had mixed feelings about it. Some people didn't look at it as blackface and people did. But anyway, um, this is definitely a special purchase for me. This bag I actually bought with nothing but stylish curves income. So I had just quit my job. Um, at my uh at the i worked at a hedge fund so i just quit my job at a hedge fund this was a purchase that i did not use any money from you know my old job this was all money from stylish curves all the money that i earned uh that month and i went out and i said i'm gonna treat myself i'm gonna go ahead break open a piggy bank and treat myself and this was the bag that i got and i also chose to get this bag because when you work in corporate America, I feel like most women, and let me know in the comments below if this is you, we really carry like suitcases <laughs> to work. Like I'm a big bag wearer. So I said, I want something that reflects my new lifestyle working from home, but I might have, you know, events and things to go to. So I wanted a bag that wasn't huge, but that could hold, you know, all my little necessity. And this was the bag I chose. Um, so when I went to the Gucci store, I was gonna get this in black. I was gonna get this in black. And the guy who was helping me was like, put that black bag down, sis. Put it down. <laughs> and he was like, why get the black one? Why don't you get the red? And I was like, well, I feel like the red won't go with everything. I just felt like it wasn't going to be a color that I would get a lot of wear out of. But I was a sucker he talked me into it so I got the red and I promise you I do not regret getting the red like I literally was wearing this bag all the time every day everywhere it holds so much it really does I mean it can even hold flats during fashion week this is my bag look so on the inside it, it's really like a nice little small to kind of a medium but it holds flats it holds your phone it holds your keys I can't even get a little notebook up in here <laughs> but yeah so this is my Gucci Soho Disco all right so my next designer purchase I'm gonna show you that's one of my favorites and I will never ever get rid of it I don't care if he's popular or not I will never <laughs> this is actually um, a little Marc Jacobs bag I don't know the name of this. Uh, I got this literally maybe six or seven years ago. And um, I thought it was so cute. I love the color. It's pink and purple. So it's purple on the front. And it's like a lighter purple on the back. But I would like to call it like a fuchsia pink. So I do say pink and purple. <laughs> um, it has a little push button open clasp on the front. It's a nice smooth leather. And what I love about this too is that it has, let me back up, um, it has a top handle, but then it also has a long strap. I love this bag so much. Now this is a bag I carried when um, I was going to work. So this would hold like any documents I had, papers, anything. It has like three compartments in here. I have like tissue in here, receipts. <laughs> So um, it has a middle zipper. This bag can hold a lot. And I love that I could wear it, at, carry it as like a little um, top tote. And I can also rock it as a crossbody bag. 
So yeah, this one is Marc Jacobs and he actually recently relaunched his line. So, you know, Marc Jacobs always closes out uh, Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week. He didn't close it out this year because Rihanna did, but I think he might have been feeling like people are trying to push him to the back burner now. So he relaunched his line, so I'm excited to see all of the new pieces that he has. But Marc Jacobs is always a, a good designer in my eyes and I love his bag. All right, so my next fave designer purchase is from Mr. Christian Louboutin. So these are the pointed toe, okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but these are the decolletes, right? Or decollete. <laughs> these are the decollete um, pointed toe pumps. I got them in uh, black suede. Now, Christian Louboutin shoes are definitely not all comfortable however I feel like you have to try the different styles to figure out what what works for your comfort level so I am a high heel wearer I've been wearing high heels since high school so I'm probably a little more comfortable with certain high heels than other people are but I think with Christian Louboutin a lot of the time it's the toe area the, the little toe box but anyway this is one of my favorite purchases because it's just a classic black suede shoe and it's from a high-end you know shoe designer and you know I actually got these for a nice little deal which um, I will share with you in another video on how to score designer purchases on um, sale but yeah so these I feel like fit me pretty comfortable I can get I want to say like a good four hours in these now these are not necessarily let me walk five miles in these you probably could walk like a good one mile if you had to <laughs> in these but these are the uh, I think these are 100 millimeter so they're not that high so these are about like four inches or these might be 85 millimeters I don't know so they're like three and a half four inches high now this does have a pretty much slim silhouette so I really consider myself to have wide feet um, but these actually work most of the time when I read the description for Christian Louboutin shoes It seems like you would always want to size up a half size and so he does have half sizes and these are a 41 and a half so I thought that these were super cute I just like how sleek they look now this these do give you a lot of toe cleavage I'm gonna tell you that right now you will have toe cleavage so if you don't like toe cleavage then you probably wouldn't like these but I just like how these look they're so all right so my next um designer purchase is a, is another pair of shoes and <laughs> these shoes i don't know what i was thinking when i got them but i really love the color so these are a super duper high pair <laughs> of giuseppe zanotti heels now i feel like there was an era <laughs> about five years ago <laughs> that women were literally out here in these streets with six inch heels and i was one of them yes guilty i'm guilty i was one of them because i thought the heel just looked so sexy and then that arch oh man this makes your booty <laughs> look like you've been doing squats every day like you've been doing 100 squats every day but these are not the kind of shoes you want to walk in uh that you want to walk far in these are the kind of shoes you want to get in the car get out the car, walk to where you're going, sit down. If you're wearing these to a party, you might want to stay in place and do a little couple, you know, two steps, left, right, left, and sit your behind down. <laughs> these are those kind of shoes. But I just thought that they were so beautiful. The red, um, they had the classic peep toe, and then this platform here made them comfortable, believe it or not. Uh, you, I had to personally uh, get used to walking in six inch heels because that is not an easy thing to do you definitely have to have some kind of rhythm <laughs> uh with six inch heels but yeah these are my giuseppe zanotti design heels and they're beautiful all right so next up and yes i still keep my shoes in, in their boxes <laughs> um i have a pair of jimmy chews so Jimmy Choo is a classic um, high-end shoe designer. Um, everybody wears them. Uh, so these, I got these, woof, I got these when I was still working 
full time um, at my old job. Well, these are the shade of these is actually called Violet. So these are the Jimmy Choo Able Pointed Toe Heels. So um, super comfortable. Um, I had to get a 42 in these. Most Italian made shoes or European made shoes, basically high end designer shoes, I wear 42. And that is the equivalent to a US size 11. And sometimes you have to read the description, which could also mean a size 12. <laughs> But anyway, so I thought this, these were beautiful. I got a lot of wear out of these. I actually need to take them to the shoe, uh, the shoe tailor to uh, get the get taps on the heels. But these are just beautiful. I really like the dark purple color, the violet color. I thought that was a unique color. Um, and yeah, just classic pointed toe pumps. As you can see, I like classic stuff. All right, so next up, I have definitely one of my favorite, favorite pairs of shoes. And it's these black and white leopard print pumps. And these are from Diane Von Furstenberg. So uh, I would consider Diane Von Furstenberg more of like a mid-level price designer. Uh, you can get, her stuff is pretty much not over $500. But it's also, I want to say, like no less than $250 or $300. So anyway, I got these from her uh, online. And these are definitely one of my favorite pairs of shoes. I have worn these so much. And I actually I got these for my birthday a few years ago. I don't remember how old I was turning. Uh, but yeah, so I got these and I thought that these were really cute. Diane, my first and And what I like about Diane, her signature is a lip on the back of her heels. So Christian Louboutin does the red sole, she does like a little lip, but these are super comfortable. Now these, I can walk in, I can run in, I can jog in these, I could get down, I could dance. <laughs> and they're leopard print, my favorite print. All right, so next up, I have a pair of Stuart Weitzman heels. Now I have the nudist heels, but this is in a metallic silver color. These are, so beautiful on um super high heels so these i think are about five inches now i will say i do wish i possibly should have got a lower heel on these uh for some reason these are not necessarily the most comfortable but i like them because they look so beautiful on it's almost like your foot is na naked you know um the metallic silver looks really good on and these have a really high arch as you can see so these are just beautiful I, I really like these because they're beautiful they're not the most comfortable but they are definitely just really pretty on and as you can see the metallic like it kind of turns different colors when you move it around but yeah these are the Stuart Weissman nudist heels super cute all right, so I have another pair of Diane Von Furstenberg heels, which I love. Uh, I've worn these down to death too. These are a pair of red, wait, I got hair in here. <laughs> these are a pair of red suede pumps from her. And as you can see, I've worn them down, so I need to get taps put on these as well. But I love red shoes, especially red suede shoes. I have to talk myself out of buying them all the time because I'll have a whole bunch of them. But yeah, so I just thought that these were really nice just classic red suede pumps all right so next up i have a pair of brian atwood sandals i love these sandals so much first of all this is back when color blocking these are kind of old too this is back when color blocking was a huge thing like remember when gucci had their whole uh collection where everything was color blocked and uh these I like these because they they were kind of like a T-strap a little bit. Yeah, kind of like a T-strap. So I got these and I really just thought they were beautiful. The only downside to these is that when I put them on, this kind of buckles a little bit so it doesn't stand up straight like it is. It does this a little bit. So I have to always make sure that I tighten the ankle uh, basically to the last, uh, the last uh, hole to make sure it stays up but these are really cute i love these and this is about a four and a half inch heel so brian atwood is definitely one of my favorite shoe designers and you know he also has a another line called b by brian atwood and yeah so these are really cute love them love that color blocking on them 
all right guys so that's it for me i just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite designer purchases i hope that you enjoyed this video if any of the stuff happens to still be available i will leave a link in the description box for you guys to check it out for yourselves thank you so much for checking out this video let me know what you thought in the comment section below if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button and remember to follow stylish curves on instagram and to also check out the blog for plus size fashion style and beauty at stylishcurves.com i will see you guys in my next video bye